Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to WWA Action! The following contest is a championship first round match. Making his way to the ring from Anaheim, California, weighing in at 215 pounds, Derek Avalanche. We are getting closer and closer to the Gold Rush event. As the World Wrestling Association also gets closer and closer to our huge Madison Square Garden show at the end of the year. Of course, the Gold Rush tournament gives the opportunity to anyone who wins the tournament to main event that Madison Square Garden show for the WWE title. Welcome to WWE Action, everybody. I'm Kirby Rodriguez. We are kicking things off with another first round match in the Gold Rush tournament. The upstart champion, Derek Avalanche, who has had quite the year so far. He's looking to make history here in WWA action. Ty Benham himself, John Rich, making his way out to the ring. And this could be the biggest match in Derek Avalanche's career. And, and, and we're talking about a man who's already the upstart champion. He had a huge match at our Never Back Down event. But think about it. Avalanche going one-on-one -on -one against a former three-time WWE Champion, former national champion. Man is a top star here in the World Wrestling Association. And if the young rookie Avalanche can put him away in such an important moment, as is the Gold Rush Tournament, then I think that would just solidify the type of star that Avalanche can be. Of course, you know the mentality of someone like John Rich. He's calculating. A truly scary individual, if there ever was one. And there you see it on your screens. This is a first round match in Gold Rush Tournament. Quite a shot there. Avalanche sweeping the leg. And Avalanche has to fill this match out. He has to find his niche, find his corner. Shot there, right? Avalanche. It's Avalanche. Reversal. And look at this. Look at this. That's just how freaking nice. How talented is that young man, Derek Avalanche? Nice reversal there by Derek. Oh! Big slam. Wow. Off the slam. Shoulders down. Isn't enough in a kick out. Taking down Rich and Rich uh, hasn't been able to get a start here. Hook the leg and quick kick out by Rich. For someone like like John, it has to be frustrating to not have the advantage this early in the match. As Avalanche takes to the ropes, sends him across the ring. So Mitch Miller locked in. But Rich quickly finds a way out of it. Big cross line, and this could be the opening for Rich. 
Will cover. Shoulders down. He said enough to advance in Gold Rush Tournament. Look at this and a kick out. Sent to the corner, but Avalanche. Oh my goodness! What a maneuver there by Avalanche as he goes to the cover. He hooks the leg. Is it enough to advance to the second round of the Gold Rush tournament and kick out? Of course, uh, whoever wins this match will advance to the semifinals. The semifinals will be taking place at the Gold Rush event itself. And there you see Derek. Once again, looking in this Mitch maneuver, he's trying to wear down John Rich in the early moments of this matchup. A lot on the line in this one, especially for someone like Derek Avalanche. We talked about how this could be perhaps the biggest victory in Avalanche's young career. He seems to be taking that too hard as he takes control of this one and Rich rolls out of the ring. Rich took a second to recompose himself there. But he may have not worked. Crossline deposited outside the ring. And Avalanche is about to fly high with the greatest of ease. He wipes down John Rich on the outside of the ring. And that's what Avalanche does. Stuff like that is what he excels at. He flies around the ring. And he takes the advantage. And that's the thing. Perhaps that 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 Derek Avalanche has over the experience as he applies a springboard frog splash to the back of, of John Rich. He goes to the cover here. Who can leg? Is it enough to put him away? Is it enough to advance to the second round and the kick out? You might say John Rich has the experience over the rookie Avalanche. But Avalanche has that fire and that desire that perhaps John Rich needs to find. And John Rich has suddenly taken control of this match. Here we go, look out. Oh, nice reversal there by Avalanche, Avalanche. They hook him down for the cover, shoulders on the mat. Is it enough to put him away at the best in the next round? It's, oh my God, it is! What the hell just happened? Here is your winner, Derek Avalanche. Avalanche advances. And Rich is pissed off! Back live on WWA action. That's wait a second! Oh come on! Grace Perkins, the number one contender at the women's championship, has attacked! Or I should say, Grace Perkins, the women's champion, has attacked the number one contender at the women's championship. Well, there's the bell. Ashley says she will go ahead with this match against a, a longtime rival in Charlotte, Queen. And Queen, of course, taking the advantage here. Let's recap a little bit. As we came back from the break, Ashley, the number one contender at the women's championship, was making her way out to the ring. And the champion, Grace Perkins, attacked her from behind and sent her against the steel steps. An absolutely despicable maneuver by Grace Perkins. And now, of course, Charlotte Queen is going to take complete control of this one. And this is Ashley just doing her best. Using the environment around her to try and regain control of this match which could very well end in a double count out eight. count is up to eight queen maybe going for a count out victory and she interrupts the count oddly enough rev starts counting once more as Queen gets sent into the ropes. Bad intentions here by... Oh! Ashley sending her straight into the steel barricade. And the, the environment around the ring is really what has helped Ashley stay alive in this match after the attack by the women's champion. It's a count of six here. 
Count of seven and Ashley heads to the top bro. Ashley dropping down down to the uh, ringside area right to the chest of Charlotte Queen and that breaks the count. Referee starts over. Ashley body first into the apron and Charlotte oh look at this trading shops here forearm to the face of Ashley and, and you don't want to be in the position Ashley is in she was tagged before the match and now she's in this highly physical matchup against Quinn you're so close to a, a championship rematch. You don't want to lose yourself. You don't want to get injured. Queen pushing back. Oh, here's Ashley. And then Queen to the ropes. Drop kick. Drop kick. And Ashley. Swing neck breaker. Ashley is looking to capitalize and perhaps score a big victory heading. Oh, into goal rush. For the cover here, who could away? Is it enough to put Queen away? Yes, indeed, Ashley silences the doubters. Here is your winner, Ashley. And now Ashley seems ready. Attack be damned for a championship match at Gold Rush. And we are back on WWA action. And now we see the new field for the Gold Rush tournament. Adam Soul has advanced. Derek Avalanche has advanced. And we got two more matches in the first round before we head to the semifinals at Gold Rush. And at Gold Rush, the Tag Team Championships will be on the line between the legendary champions, The Beast and Dante. Going one-on-one -on -one against the rookies, The Defenders. Will the rookies be able to trump the legends to take their first championships in their first pay-per-view match? We'll find out live at Gold Rush. For the WWA Women's Championship, the rivalry between Grace Perkins, the champion, and Ashley, the challenger, has escalated to new levels. These two will meet in an old disqualification match for the WWA Women's Championship at Gold Rush, and only one of them will walk out with the champion. And of course, the WWA Championship will be on the line between Austin Parker and Jim Duncan. Jim Duncan says that he will do whatever it takes to keep that championship. Austin Parker says he's overdue and he will stop at nothing to walk out champion. And of course, one of the biggest matches we've seen in the WWA. It's a title for title match. Light Heavyweight Championship and National Championship will be unified in a ladder match between champions Kevin Devious and Mike Pure. One of them will walk out with all the gold at Gold Rush. And speaking of the WWA Championship. Making his way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois. Weighing in at 240 pounds, the AWA Champion, Jim Duncan. The WWA Champion, Jim Duncan, who will be part of a huge WWA title match come Gold Rush, prepares to meet perhaps his biggest rival ever and a man who already knows what he'll be doing at the Gold Rush event in Adam Soul. And, and how impactful could it be for Jim Duncan tonight to step in the ring with such an old rival in Adam Soul, a rival who's been threatening to end Jim Duncan's career for a while now. This could put uh, the condition of Jim Duncan ahead of the championship and match the in danger. From Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 238 pounds, Adam Soulman. 
You know, for Adam Soul, tonight, the walk in the park. He already knows that he'll be in the semifinals of the Gold Rush Tournament at the Gold Rush event. And he gets to step in the ring with a person that he truly hates in Jim Duncan. This is why I said this is a very, very dangerous situation for the WWE Champion. And here we go, Adam Soul, Jim Duncan going one on one tonight in our main event. And oh, you've got to be joking. Well, of course, he was not going to stay backstage. The number one contender at the WWE Championship, Austin Parker, making his way out here. And Parker seems to be on his way to joining us on the announce table. Nonetheless, uh, we cannot let that distract from what's happening in the ring with Jim Duncan quickly taking down Adam Soul. Big shots there by Jim Duncan, yeah. Duncan gets taken down here by Adam. Adam goes for the kick in the back. Duncan fights it off. Duncan tries to go for the reversal and he achieves it. What a move there by Jim. These two had a hell of a rivalry over the summer. And here comes Duncan! Nice reversal here by Adam. Kick to the plexus. Into the corner. Oh man, what a bulldog! Off the bulldog shoulders down here. Hook of the leg, isn't it up? And a kick out. Duncan sending Adam Soul into the corner and Duncan has to be very weary of Austin Parker down at ringside but he also has to be weary of the damage Whoa, what a reversal nice DDT by Duncan off the reversal shoulders down hook to the leg isn't enough to put him away in a key count close line bulldog again by Duncan I, I was just saying that Duncan has to be weary about you know, both of these men Really, really, really do not like Jim, and Jim seems to be driving on it right now. As he applies that lion salt. Shoulders down here, hook of the leg. Is it enough to put him away in a kick out? And Duncan once again sending uh, Soul into the corner. And this is exactly what we were talking about. Parker calling the attention of Jim. And Parker and Duncan exchanging words. And of course, as you can see in the background, Adam takes the advantage of the distraction. Parker, very happy with the result he's had here tonight. He's in the head of Jim Duncan. And Duncan reversing, sending Adam Soul over the barricade into the crowd here tonight in Mississippi. Shot there and Duncan back in the ring. Or I should say the ringside area. Duncan and Soul. Duking it out on the outside of the ring. Duncan with the step up and Zigori. But the referee is counting and Duncan doesn't care. Duncan going for our table. A count of eight. Nine. Count of nine here. And this match ends and we've run out of time. Thank you for joining us. Good night.